Hello knowledge seekers, this is Showman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. We are middle of the high pressure RTR pipeline series. Today we will be discussing about the repair procedure for RTR pipeline. The repair method of uh, leaking yellow box RTR pipeline system Basically, we will be discussing integral box pin connection leak repair, coupling type joint leak repair and also what we will do when pipe is getting leak. And the last one which is um, for minor leaks are the overlapping lamination procedure. So be with me till the end of the video. It will be interesting. Let us start. First one is procedure for replacing the leaking joint by means of installing new flanges. We simply replace the damaged or leaked joint area and we are installing new flanges with new section of pipe. The process is excavate the pipe connected to the leak joint plus an additional 10 meters approximately 20 meters from the leaking connection. We are discussing here underground RTR pipeline so we need to open the excavation. Refer to the figure for illustrative summary for repair procedure. Cut the leaked box and pin joint. Unscrew the pin from one end to retrieve the box. Heat the joint by using heating blanket in order to safely remove the pin. Heating temperature can be 80 to 100 degrees centigrade. Time minimum one hour. Unscrew the box from other end to retrieve the pin. Heat the joint by using heating blanket also in order to safely remove the pin. Heating temperature can be 80 to 120 degree centigrade minimum one hour. After the joint is open, clean and examine the retrieve box and pin threads. Install the new flange on the retrieved pin. Install a box and pin pipe on the retrieved box. Install the pin to pin nipple with flange and join to flanges. All the steps are there. Step 1, Step 2, Step 3 and Step 4. Step 1 is cut the pipe as shown and Step 2 unscrew the joints. Step 3 install the box pin and install new flange and Step 4 install the pin to pin nipple and install the second flange. So hope this is clear with you. Now we will go for the second one. Here leaking joint by means of installing new pin to staff flanges. This is for the coupler type of yellow box connection. So similarly, we will excavate the pipes connected to the leak joint plus an additional 12 meter from each end, approximately 24 meter from each side of the leaking connection. So refer to the figure for illustrative summary. Cut the leaked coupler joint as a step one. Unscrew the pipe from one end to retrieve the box of the first coupler. We need to heat the joint by using heating blanket 80 to 120 degrees centigrade, time minimum one hour. And then unscrew the pin from the other end to retrieve the box of the second coupler. Heat the joint by using heating blanket 80 to 120 degrees centigrade, time minimum one hour. Clean and examine the retrieved box of both couplers. Install two pin coupler pipes of a correct effective length. Lengths to be specified after cutting on site. Fix the steel backing rings on the pin stub flanges before jointing. Install two pin stub flanges as in the sketch of a fixed length. Install the steel backing rings. If you see the picture here also we have five steps. First one is cut the pipe as shown. Then step two will be unscrew the joint to take out the damaged portion of the pipe or leaked section. Then step three is install two pin coupler pipes at a correct effective length. Then step four install two pin stubs pipes on a fixed length. So pin stub pipe is pointed out in step four you can see and step five finally install steel backing rings. So the measurement of that pipe which has to be fabricated and to be installed in between has to be correct from the site. Otherwise the alignment or the joint strength might be cause of another leakage later on. Now what to do if the leak come from the pipe body? 
you can see in the step one the pipe is leaking and we need to cut that section out let us discuss the steps in detail first we need to excavate the leaked pipe plus additional 12 meter from each side that means 24 meter uh, refer to the figure for illustrative summary cut the leaked section of the pipe unscrew the pin from one end to retrieve the box of the first coupler heat the joint with a heating blanket in order to safely remove the pin the heating temperature can be 80 to 120 degree centigrade minimum one hour unscrew the pin from the other end to retrieve the box from the second coupler heat the joint by using heating blanket in order to safely remove the pin heating temperature same 80 to 120 degree centigrade for minimum one hour clean and examine the retrieved box at both coupler install one pin coupler pipe of a correct effective length length to be specified after cutting on site fix the steel backing rings onto the pin stub flanges before jointing install two pin stub flanges of a fixed length install the steel backing rings so this is also applicable for the coupler connection to revise step one we need to cut the pipe as shown in the picture step two we need to unscrew the joint to take out the damaged pipe step three is install one pin stub pipe of a fixed length and one pin coupler pipe of a correct effective length step four we need to install one new pin stub pipe of a fixed length these lengths are very very much important correct measurement and fabricate accordingly is the responsibility of the manufacturer and installer guys step five is to install steel backing rings by the way manufacturer and designer and installer is same for our project here it can be different also but since the technology is developing and they are the pioneers so uh, as a contractor we cannot take the risk of install ourselves we always install the whole pipeline on their supervision only now we will be discussing the final one which is getting used for minor leak it is overlay lamination so you can see the material tools and consumables the following material and tools are ready during installation so first of all here the special material is overlay lamination material as per lamination recipe this has to be designed by the manufacturer considering the joint strains so there are different tools required you can read it if you like stopping the slide now i will go through the installation process first mark the bond length on the clean and dry surface abrade the marked area to remove the top coat and surface layer of the components by angle grinder with emery disc grit or grate p24 until the grass fibers are exposed in preparation suggested as per product drawing shall be carried out carefully without affecting the integrity of the joint and the component clean the area by dry paint brush to ensure that it is full dry apply the first layer of apt sealant without water to fill the gap between box and pin and from box face to bond length mix the apt sealant and water prior to application on the joint using a clean and dry wooden stick for small quantity plastic buckets can be used for mixing the mixing ratio of apt sealant and water shall be 6 cans of apt sealant whereas we need to add 60 to 100 ml of water apply second layer of apt sealant mixed with water over the first layer after the sealant surface become tack free start fit layer lamination grind the bond length of fit layer as per recipe after preparation of fit layer bond length start winding at bond length area between coupler thickness and pipe upset area to achieve proper slope with 50 percent of overlapping continue applying oven roving until pipe upset od becomes equal to the coupler od and maintain the slope after achieving the lamination winding thickness equal to the coupler od thickness at the pipe od area wind over the coupler from one side to the other after completing fit lamination wait until it becomes stack free cure for 4 hours at 125 co after curing measure the barcode hardness of the laminate 
the Barcol impressor should read a minimum value of 35. After completing the fit lamination, which is step 1, grind and apply the impregnated oven roving as per the recipe of the achieved required thickness in the step. You can see here the overlay lamination uh, schematic section over threaded joint. Uh, dimensions are given as per the site situation of our project, but it can be different based on the diameter and thickness or the rating of the joint. Again, remember this overlay lamination is only for minor leaks. Which leaks are minor? That will be decided by the manufacturer representative because they are the expert for this. So if they feel it is minor and this leak can be stopped by this lamination method, then they will apply it. So that's all for all the three types of process we have discussed. If the pipe is leak, what we will do? If the joint, both integral joint, means box pin joint and coupler joint, if it is leaks, what we will do? Generally, we are replacing the sections. And the third one for minor leaks is overlay lamination. Hope you understand the repair process of high pressure RTR pipeline. Ending this video for today. Stay tuned with me till I finish this series. Thanks a lot. Signing off, Showman.